tell me one thing so whenever people gets an get an electricity bill then only they remember okay this is a discom okay or this this brpl but do a discom do a little more than that please tell us in fact the electricity act 2003 the government of india interest the distribution utility or a discom with multi functions so we are known mainly for the bills that we produce or we give it to them on the month end and and uh, the collections that happens right? yes. but there are many more things which are to be done three broad pillars i would like to tell you which are there in a distribution utilities uh, job function first is the customer side so that is much more known to the people because we are giving them new connections we are uh, enhancing the load we are giving solar connections cv connections giving them the bills and they are paying the bills we are providing them all the different interfaces like customer help desk di seva kendra bijli seva kendra all those things so that is customer yes. side yes but people what they don't know about the other two pillars which are very essential to support this customer too so as we all know the electricity cannot fly as a microwave True. okay like telecom cellular phone that you have you don't need nowadays landlines are almost dead yes of course okay that you are aware yes so everything that you are doing is in the air the yes. bandwidth but unfortunately electricity can't as of now it's not there yes. so therefore there have to be wires the people as you might have seen there are poles there are transmission lines distribution lines that are very much visible yes okay so the other main function is of maintaining this electrical wired network so there is a planning going in there is a whole team which uh, which forecast the load growth there is again a modeling team okay. it's a very scientific process and the third pillar is purchasing the power so the power has to be supplied the supply constitutes of two things as i told you one is the content part mm -hmm. the power second is the carriage part which is the network i'm talking about so the third pillar is the content part okay. so where we have to purchase that power because we are not generating power so we are purchasing the power of late you the consumers have also become prosumers you yes. are producing also and consuming also so sure. so through your rooftop solar so when you produce through your rooftop solar you are connected to the grid okay to the distribution network and whatever you use you use and the balance you supply to the grid automatically you don't come to know of it there yeah. is a net meter which records everything and you are getting paid for it right so right. nowadays what is happening is the discom that is us we are becoming more friends of the consumers in the sense that we are partners so sure. right so we are helping them reduce their bills we are helping them improve the quality of the power and also supplying them with the reliable power and that is what our endeavor is very nice good to know and is brpl is the only one who supplying electricity in delhi or there there are the discom there also? are five distribution utilities which are there primarily the bscs uh, yes. uh, which is supplying to about 2 thirds of delhi so brpl is bscs rajdhani and bscs yamuna is the second entity so bscs rajdhani is supplying to the south and west of the part of the delhi bscs yamuna is supplying to the eastern delhi major and some portion of the central delhi together we are supplying to two thirds of delhi right, right? so over 5 million 5.3 million customers wow and right. the brpl if i am correct there are around 2.5 to 3 million itself no it is about 3.3 million 3.3 million metered okay. connection Very okay nice. so these are metered connections so if you multiply by 4 supposing one household is having four members we are supplying to more than 12 million people people yeah okay so uh, and then you have tata power ddl which is primarily north of delhi okay and then the rest of the two are new delhi municipal council which is in the chanakipuri area and the, uh, the embassy areas the third one a very small one is about 50 megawatt load is in the delhi country which is yeah. military engineering services okay. so to give you an idea bscs rajdhani is catering to about 3.8 gigawatt of load peak load and bscs yamuna is about say 1.5 to 1.6 gigawatt of load okay total delhi met this year 8.4 gigawatt right last year it was 8.5 gigawatt very nice so that's that's a good context for people to understand for our audience also where exactly each discom in delhi is doing and how delhi is faring this and you talked about your team in brpl which does a lot of work 
how big is that team and what are the some invisible work that they do at the back end which we might even not be aware of as a consumer as a user of that electricity so as a consumer you are aware of our customer facing team yeah so there are customer help desks in each of the division so for example janakpuri or dulakabad or maybe hoj khas or west delhi uh, vikaspuri etc so what you see is our customer facing team okay you would have seen the business managers customer care officers linemen and uh, maybe the technical feasibility engineers that is only one part of it the other grand part is the system operations team what do you mean by system operation i remember i told you about the network planning yes. network upgrade and then there is a system that means when you purchase the power the power has to be i mean i sorry i'll use a technical jargon called scheduling okay scheduled yes so in india the power settlement happens every 15th minute okay so in 24 hours there are 96 such 15 minute time blocks so yes. therefore it is a 24/7 operation uh, so when you say system operation there is a team which is sitting 24/7 who is doing such scheduling and settlement okay. okay so this is commercial part of 